Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a dynamic searchable list that is also sorted in alphabetical order. In our example, we have a list of student names in column B. In cell D5, we want to be able to search for letters like this and automatically extract the list of names that contain these letters. We also want to be able to incorporate this in a drop down list like this. To do this, we're going to use several functions. The overarching function will be the filter function, which filters a range or array. The filter function requires an array, and then we need to tell Excel what to include, or in other words, what it should filter by. We first type equals filter, followed by our array, which is the list of students. Next, we need to tell Excel what to include when filtering. Here we can combine the isNumber and search functions. We first type isNumber, followed by search. We're searching for the value in cell D5 within the array of students. We can then close brackets and finally provide a message if none of the students contain our search term. In our case, we'll type not in list. Since cell D5 is currently blank, Excel has nothing to filter by, so has returns all student names. However, if we type a letter, like the letter C, it filters to show only the students that contain the letter C in their names. Let's break this function down further. What the search function is doing is returning the number of the letter at which the text string we are searching for is first found. For example, in the case of Patricia, the letter C is the sixth letter within the text string, so the number 6 is returned. Meanwhile, the isNumber function is checking whether a value is a number, in which case it returns true, and if it's not, then it returns false. However, there are still some problems that we need to overcome. Firstly, if we add names to the list, these are not incorporated in our list. We can overcome this by making our formula dynamic using the indirect function. But firstly, before we do this, we need to be able to tell Excel the row number of our final entry in the student list. Here we can use the count a function, counting the number of occurrences in column B, and then adding two to give the final row number. We can then go back into our formula and use the indirect function to make the array that we're selecting dynamic. We first add the first parts of the array and we then add the final parts which is what we just calculated the final row number. We can then replicate this here as well. Now you can see that the name we added Harry is incorporated in the list as well. Therefore, our searchable list is dynamic. Next, we want to sort these values in alphabetical order. To do this, we can add the sort function in front of the rest of the formula. This does the trick. The final step is we want to incorporate this dynamic list in our drop-down in cell D5. Here we click 
cell D5, go into the data tab, followed by data validation, and then we select list, and within source, we'll select cell E5, which is the first cell within the list, followed by the hash key. And the reason we add the hash key is to give the entire spill array. We can then also untick the error checkbox to prevent error alerts when we search. Now, when we search for a student's name like this, the range of possible students appears here, but it's also within our drop-down list. So that's how you can create a dynamic and searchable drop-down list in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.